Programming has become so much a part of our lives that we don't even realize it's around us. Think about it. Almost everything you touch or do is influenced by programming in some way. The clothes you wear were made in a factory by machines that are programmed. Your family car has dozens of little computers controlling just about everything, including the radio, anti-lock brakes, power windows, air conditioner, engine diagnostics, and the list goes on and on. Even this merit badge book was written using word processors, spreadsheets, databases, and video conferencing, all of which were programmed. And of course, your cell phone, tablet, computers all rely heavily on programming. Programming is just about everywhere in your life. And since scouting is all about helping prepare you for life, what better way to do it than to learn about programming? For the Merit Badge, you have to demonstrate that you understand the basics of programming in three different programming languages using three different kinds of software for three different industries. That sounds like a lot, but you can do each of those in about 15 to 20 minutes for free if you know this little trick. On the Programming Merit Badge website, scroll down to this Getting Started section. Select the industry that you're interested in, and up pops a list of programming languages you can use to accomplish that requirement. For example, how about Internet? Click on a language like JavaScript, and you get a little description, some basic information, where to get the software if needed, this one doesn't need any, and a level of difficulty scale. Following that, there's a little step-by-step -step tutorial you just do this, do that, run it, and you're done. Easy. At the bottom, there's a walkthrough explaining what the program does, a list of things you can try, and places to go to learn more about that programming language. And some of them even have a little list of resources, tips, and tricks you can use. Once you've done that, you can just modify this program or create your own to satisfy one of the programming requirements. Suppose you want to learn about electronic gadgets. Well, you just go to the entertainment section, and let's click on Arduino. That's an embedded controller you can get at Radio Shack. Again, same thing. The name, brief description, where to get the software, and look, this one has a video you watch to learn how to make an LED blink and read a button press for an embedded controller from Radio Shack. Once you've done that, you'll be able to use that basic skill to go create any electronic gadget you want. How about that? Suppose you want to learn about how factories are controlled. We bring up factory automation, and maybe click on ladder logic. Again, all the same information, this one also uses a video, and this one explains how to program a Pinewood Derby controller using a factory automation PLC. There are lots of simple examples here specifically designed to help get you up and running quickly. Most of them are directly from the samples in the blue boxes in the Merit Badge book. So find a few that interest you and give it a shot. Do you have to use one of these? No, not at all. But if you need a way to get up and going quickly, these are great. Also note that if you don't see your favorite programming language here, send us a note and we'll tell you how to get that on the website too. Besides programming, you'll learn all about intellectual property, patents, trademarks, freeware, and both how to protect programs you've written and what your rights are to software you've purchased. Did you know that there's a hidden message in the patch? Do you see it? If not, look for this page in the Merit Badge book to learn the secret. Well, what are you waiting for? Head over to the Programming Merit Badge website, pick a language, and get started today.